What's going on guys, Geosnow right here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to reinstall and get back working the Cydia if you have removed it, either by accident or purposefully, using Yalu Dark or Yalu 102 jailbreak on iOS 10.x. So um, in my previous video about this, I have shown you how to do this using FileZa or iFile on the device, but if you do not have FileZa or iFile already installed, you cannot follow that video. So in this video I'm going to use SSH instead of uh, FileZa or iFile so that everybody can do this even if you do not have any file manager installed on your jailbroken device. Now I'm going to show you by going in here, this is my device, hello. If you go in here I'm going to search for um, Cydia real quick. You can see there is no Cydia available, so I have removed Cydia completely, you do not have to do that, I just removed it to show you this works. And you need to run the jailbreak first, of course, I am in the jailbroken state, it's of course only half of a jailbreak if you don't have Cydia, but it's in a jailbroken state. So run Yalu, connect the uh, device to the computer, and we're going to follow up the procedure. So at first we need to create an SSH connection. I found out that this program, iPhone Tunnel, is the best to use on a Mac. You can also use it on Windows and it's pretty damn easy to use. Uh, you can download it from here, the link is in the description, download this beta, and even though it was made in 2009, it is actually still working with macOS Sierra, so there's no problem about it. I'm going to open it, and as I said, it's pretty damn easy to, to actually use it. So um, yeah, if Windows users require a tutorial for them, I'm going to make one as well. You click on the arrows right here, this is the only thing that appears if you open the program, turn tunnel on, it will change the color of the arrows, and then you can go to terminal. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you to be able to see, and I'm going to run the following command ssh root at 127.0.0.1-p2222. Uh, if it's the first time, you're probably going to see a message uh, that will ask you to write either yes or no. You're going to write yes, and then you're going to see this. The password is Alpine. Let me show you. This is the password, A-L-P-I-N-E, right? Alpine. And you're going to be in the root of the device. Let me show you. I'm here. CD. You don't have to do this. Applications. LS. You can see I do not have Cydia installed here at C. There is no Cydia. So I completely removed it just to show you how to, to do this. What you need to do first is to uh, create the, um, the permissions for the file in order to be able to remove it. In order to do that you need to write CH mode. Sorry, first write CD dot double slash and then you're going to write the following command. CH mode 775 dot, sorry, slash dot installed underscore yalu x. The x is capital, so make sure you capitalize it, because if you write like this, it's not going to recognize the file. Okay, hit the enter key, and then write rm, and the same name of the file, slash dot installed underscore yalu x. You're going to remove the file, now let's see if reboot command works, yes it does, it's going to reboot your device completely, and you're going to of course need to re-jailbreak it, but when you're going to re-jailbreak it after this, it's going to copy again the contents of the, um, the Yalu, so it's going to overwrite the existing files, you're going to get a couple of problems with the packages on Cydia, but that's, that is because the uh, packages that uh, are already installed are going to be out of date. That's not a problem, you're going to simply click uh, return to Cydia or something like this, and if Cydia prompts up any um, update, you're going to click to install the essential updates or complete update. But when you are jailbreaking, this time you're going to have Cydia. So I'm going to be back in a couple of seconds, 
All right, so my device has been uh, rebooted. I jailbroke again. But as you can see, this time I have Cydia and it has that little blue dot, which means it's a newly installed application. I'm going to start it. You can see it starts properly, but you're going to get some info. You click OK in here. You can see there are red things in here because there are updates. When you're doing the procedure that I have shown you, it's 100% working, but it installs an older version of Cydia, usually the Cydia pack that is present in Yelp package so that's not going to be a problem but you're going to get these with the return to Cydia click return and you're going to have an update click complete upgrade and you're going to fix your Cydia click confirm again and it's going to update Cydia to the latest version It's going to update apt It's going to update anything that is required to be updated so as you can see things are installing completely you're probably going to respring or something related I do not know but then it's going to work properly and normally and probably you shouldn't remove Cydia again. Now, if you have removed Cydia for some reason, because a lot of people are asking me about how to get Cydia working again. Uh, if you see this in here, we're going to fix it in a couple of seconds. Um, but you're probably not going to see this because I, I, uh, I've been getting these uh, warnings even before I did this. So you're going to restart, respring it and it should be working again. Mm -mm -mm. So you can see no longer having any warnings, no longer having anything in here. It's working properly. Let me try to install something by the way. Um, I'm going to install this because it looks interesting. Confirm. Just to show you that CDI is working normally after being reinstalled. It's downloading normally, it's installing normally, so it shouldn't be any problem. The method that I have shown you is pretty damn stable, but again, you have to keep in mind that everything will be reinstalled. You're not going to lose your tweaks, by the way. The tweaks that you have already installed are going to stay installed. But um, yeah, you, you are going to get that um, warnings at the beginning. Do not worry, it's okay. I'm going to restart the springboard, let it respring, and it should be okay. It should come back to life or something. Alrighty, I'm going to go in here and it's pretty much working properly. Now, I do not have any notification to show you, but the tweaks are working properly. You can see in here. So, uh, yeah, this is basically it, guys. Thanks for watching. I really hope this helped a lot of you. If you need a Windows tutorial, it's pretty damn easy. I'm going to make one for you. Just tell me in the comment section down below. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Give this video a thumb up if it, if it actually uh, helped you. And peace out.